Hello everyone and this is Serenity's here back with another awesome Fortnite Battle Royale gameplay today and this time today guys the final installment of Manjaro's doubles for a while as I said in my previous um, episode which was episode 12 and now with episode 13 today of Manjaro's doubles on Fortnite my Manjaro Bro Celerities is taking a brief repose uh, from Xbox Live so I really hope you guys enjoy this uh, fantastic final instalment game of Manjaro's doubles which I had this week before uh, Matt sold his Xbox and uh, yeah definitely a fantastic game uh, to end our sort of uh, doubles uh, career on for a while um, uh, hopefully one day it will return but uh, with the ace skin right here and Matt was playing as the uh, sparkle uh, specialist in this one so really hope you guys enjoy this and um, at the beginning we decided we'd um, we decided we'd go to risky reels uh, just because they didn't fancy tilted and um, you know a few of the other places that were on the path um, so there was a bit of uh, a call for risky reels uh, Matt likes it there as well it's uh, one of Matt's uh, um, locations that he does like and uh, like I said we decided to go there and uh, we had a fantastic game in this one a really really awesome match from my POV and I hope you guys really enjoy it so as I said guys you know going to uh, risky reels and uh, you know hopefully there'll be decent amounts of competition which there usually is at risky reels especially if it's on the um, path of the bus uh, definitely if it's at the start it will get a lot of people but even at the end you know there'll be a, there'll be a, a fair amount of people that might go there so um, so as you can see here just gliding in and uh, being careful where I go but yeah definitely like risky reels as an initial starting point because there's a lot of um, scope for battles early on and it's sort of like a battle um, sort of ring of uh, you know stuff and situations going on with all the cars and the houses and everything so it's definitely a, a good place to start and right here managing to get myself a green tactical blue scope's a bit naff but you know hopefully I'll find some other things here that can uh, help out myself nice to get a grappler and um, at this point here the grenade launcher well that's put a smile on my face and um, at this point here managed to find a more normal AR as well so at this point here because we had a bit of competition Matt was saying there's a few people around so I was like just taking my time to put this shield put on and then I'm uh, hopefully going to wreak havoc with the uh, grenade launcher early on here to, uh, with the ace ace entities uh, to uh, sort of ace out this lobby uh, as you can see here I sort of see him fighting overhead in the house and uh, see this is a good opportunity to put some nade launch on and uh, really nice knock on it and a player there that's really huge and that's going to slow down the team's play of um, you know whichever duo team that was over there and uh, managed to finish him off with the limb and uh, just again just keeping the pressure up there just keep firing in I think there's like two or three people over there so really nice plays and uh, Matt at that point was like oh great dude you've got a grenade launcher and uh, pretty much saying you know we've, we've got that all wrapped up um, <laughs> the Manjaros have uh, won their area and uh, really nice commanding play you know push them back push them out of the facility get them back um, but really nice play from Matt and myself there to take them all out in that fashion and uh, a bit of fortuitous luck there to find the um, the grenade launcher because it's um, definitely one of my favourite weapons in this game. Um, yeah, I know it's not exactly, <laughs> should be saying that uh, one of the bolt snipes is, but um, yeah, definitely for winning games, I think the grenade launcher can be so, so, so helpful at times. Um, definitely one of my favourite weapons because I'm really good at uh, placing them how I want to in terms of uh, exploding people as well. So I think I do something I do quite well um, I sort of put them here there and everywhere against players and um, at this point here moving on from risky and uh, Matt got shot in the back one time which took his shield down from 50 to 32 so at uh, this moment here is just being careful to see where that came from um, and obviously once we started to build we didn't see any more uh, shots coming in at us so um, at this moment here I'm like I, I literally can't see anything Matt I don't know where you got shot from but he definitely did get shot and um, I couldn't really see where um, uh, so Matt and I decide to move on and say to Matt um, I'm just going to move out first and see if that triggers any more of a, a response from the people that shot him initially and um, decide to do that nothing really happens but I see that this house has been smashed to bits and it's only um, still a little bit early in the game and um, I realise that there's a team here and I hear them in the house and they start to make an approach and uh, somehow in this fight I still well managed to turn around um, so that was a bit frustrating because I was trying to get the height and it just kept going the other direction in which I placed it but eventually here with Matt's help, it's really nice to be away from Matt to support me in this moment 
I was able to get some nice tactical shots on the first guy I was having that sort of build fight with. And Matt comes around with some perfect positioning there to uh, help me finish off the other player as well for us to take out that team. And uh, there I was like, dude, it was so worth it killing these guys. I've now got a gold grenade launcher instead of a, instead of a blue. And um, at this point here, we've also got a quad launcher we could have used. I'm not the, personally the best with a quad launcher. Um, they are good rockets as well. It's just not my favourite um, rocket on this game. So... I will tend to avoid those, um, usually I'll let the, um, my other teammates have the quad launcher, I'm just not as a fan of it, I can't really explain why I can use them, um, but I'm just not a fan and will uh, sort of prioritise having a grenade launcher or a normal RPG um, over the quad launcher for me personally, so yeah, really happy with that um, inventory and at this point here I think Matt was uh, calling someone out, I'd just given him uh, one mini there, he just needed one mini, but he was calling someone out near my Temple. And uh, trying to keep the eyes on that, and um, obviously with Matt getting that mini, sort of lost sight of him. Which, um, yeah, I'm sorry for that at the time of the gameplay, Matt. I just I wanted to make sure he just had the shield, man. But like as as you would have observed there, Matt's uh, sort of making his way to try and keep an eye on him, which is good play, and uh, definitely a good idea to have player positions. Uh, so that's that's nice play from Matt. And at this point here, I hear a vehicle. It looks like maybe the solo player that could have shot Matt in the back earlier is behind us. So. At this moment here, I just inform Matt of that and uh, let him know that there's a guy behind us and obviously he's spotted these other players earlier on that were in front of us. So at this moment here, just moving forward, uh, Matt getting the chest, that's a nice play from him. And I'm just sort of, you know, sort of scoping out at this point and trying to stay uh, fairly close to Matt so I can support him if he found anyone or anything like that. So as you can see here, just uh, I'm calling out this blue hunting rifle for Matt, which I give him my heavy ammo. And uh, that's a nice trade for him to get that blue hunting rifle there. So at this point in the game, player three, and we're in a good stead, you know, got decent uh, things at our disposal. Um, obviously, I'm happy to have the gold grenade launcher. That's huge for me at this point in the gameplay. And um, yeah, really here, just trying to get in with the zone. Um, just making sure to cover our flanks as we're getting in as well. It's an important uh, strategy in Fortnite Battle Royale, I think, is to make sure you have a clear uh, transition into that next circle. It's really important. And... Um, you know, based on <clears throat> what Matt was saying earlier about the other team that he had spotted, um, I was sort of saying to him, suggesting, you know, from where the zone was going, um, if they were over here and sort of looted around here, they, they must be directly ahead of us or just ahead of us um, shortly. So I was kind of thinking that there can't be um, enemies too far away based on the fact that Matt did see those people over by Tomorrow Temple. So I was thinking, you know, if, if there were people there, they're not going to be too far ahead of us at this moment in the gameplay. So as it starts to mine wood as well here, I start to hear some shots. Um, incoming from uh, further away and I uh, sort of reason at that point I think I, I hear them here um, and that's where I decide that you know obviously there's not there's fights to be had uh, not too far from where we are currently set up so <clears throat> at this point here just making my way down the um, hill to get involved and um, hopefully get the benefits of all these fights and uh, take out the other players, get all their loot, and uh, we can, man, and I can start having a much, much better game. So, at this point here, guys, just get the material. Um, whilst I'm doing that, obviously, bit, you know, careful transition into the zone. And I think Matt and I have done that nicely, and at this point here, you can still hear the shots going off, so I decide to investigate. And I think it's a good play to do that because uh, just having an awareness of uh, where these enemies are, and um, obviously, Matt says at this point as well, we've got two options here because. The next zone is pretty far away, um, so we could just get in now, which I think is what Matt's preference was at the time of the gameplay, um, but also at this point as well, I was quite shocked at how uh, close this team was to us here. I see this team back on this hill. I thought it was only um, the people in the far off distance, and at this moment I'm saying that to Matt. And he's, he's saying to me, I think we should uh, press on. And I'm like, just one minute, man. I'm going to try and take these guys out because I would like to get some more stuff. And I think that was, you know, I was quite happy with that decision personally. Uh, my grenade launchers could have been a bit better here. I could have timed it a bit better. But um, I like this decision at the time of gameplay because I did have some good stuff, but just not enough of it. So I thought if these guys do have loot, it might be worth killing them. And um, it was interesting here when we made this push on this team because... They obviously knew they were getting grenade launched. I'm not sure why that guy was facing towards the other guys. That was uh, not really, you know, putting much pressure on them. Um, it's kind of unusual for them to sort of focus on the, uh, the other team. 
uh, considering they got bombarded from this direction. And it's a really nice play from Matt and myself to finish them off there. Just really good plays uh, to you know finish them off in that fashion. Really nice grenade launcher on point, and uh, nice finishing shots to finish that off. So as you can see here, guys, back on the road, uh, back doing what Matt wanted initially. So I'm sorry for that, Matt. Um, if you wanted to get on the road much quicker, there, bro. But um, at this point here, guys, just pushing forward with the rest of the gameplay. Um, so as you can see here, just uh, needing to get in now because as I as I said um, a bit earlier, you know it's actually quite a distance now. Uh, so we do have to be careful when we're getting in here. And, um, and luckily for me, um, Matt's not so fortunate at this moment in the gameplay. But I've got my grappler, so I was saying to Matt, like, I'll be okay, bro. But I don't know about you. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, hopefully we can both uh, make it. But, uh, yeah, definitely at this point I was like, you know, I can Spider-Man out of here. It'll be all right. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, definitely um, looking to uh, get into... Um, the zone right here and as you can see Tilwood is on the edge of it as well so it's going to be interesting battles uh, to be had definitely in this circle and it will definitely be interesting to see where that final circle goes for the final uh, final episode of Manjaro's doubles that'll be interesting to see won't it but uh, really nice uh, Spider-Man skills right there just being careful not to take full damage as I'm doing this and um yeah, just trying to get in quickly. Um, obviously, the storm is approaching, uh, but you know, doing some really nice grapple work there. At this moment here, uh, here a uh, quad bike, so just uh, you know, taking a bit of cover because I wasn't sure where that was coming from. And at this, at this point here, I can see quite a few teams uh, looking to make their way for the finals. Um, and obviously, you know, my Manjaro bros, Celerities and, and Serenities and Manjaros are like, there's only going to be one winners here and it's us. Um, <laughs> but um, right here is uh, stopping off because I was like, oh, brilliant. The blue variants of all the green, green uh, weaponry that I did have. And uh, again, just being careful here, um, I think uh, seeing the position of the way that those guys entered to it, I didn't want to sort of come in from that angle. Um, I was happy to sort of push around from this side uh, via the hills and mountains because I do like to sort of just, you know, cover exactly um, as I'm coming into the new circle exactly that edge uh, because I like to know that I have a clear flank, uh, clear, sorry, excuse me, clear flank. Um, so I like to be sure that I've got that um, at my disposal. I don't want to sort of be, uh, you know, snuck up on and, you know, um, taken down because of uh, a lack of awareness um, of where someone was. So. For me, that's really important right here. And um, also another reason is because I wanted to change over for the next 10-minute uh, recording because I knew the Majoros would emerge victorious. And, um, you know, I had to get that all uh, right here for Serenity's vids, ready and waiting, you know, ready on the channel for for viewing pleasure and, um, you know, for, for years to come. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this moment here, just uh, following uh, the Sparkle Angel, Matizite, uh, up the hill, uh, looking to make plays, and we'll see what happens right here, guys, for the remainder of the game as we approach into Tilted for the final circle. So right here, guys, as you can see, just looking to get mushrooms, and at this point, Matt says there's a, a team on the hill and a team over somewhere to the west side. So I was just trying to be careful and sort of asking Matt at this point, where, where do you think we should uh, push, bro? What, what do you reckon? And um, he said at this point, um, you know, obviously because we got to get into the zone for Tilted. So we're being careful with that as well. Uh, but I think at this moment I was saying to Matt, um, I'd, I'd like to go for these guys on the hill, man, because of where the zone is going to be taking us and we can get on that thin part. So eventually we proceed carefully, being careful of those guys on the west side as well. And I decided to push these boys in on top of the hill, so they've got a nice little uh, set up right here that uh, the majority want to take. And um, <laughs> at this point here, just making my plays with Matt to get in comfortably. And um, at this point here, just trying to build up and being careful as I do that. Unfortunately, box boxed myself in here for a brief moment, so just making sure I can come out of it again. Quite a bit with Matt to uh, put more pressure on these guys. And you can see here they put down the uh, deployable turret, so uh, I have to make extra plays. The majority have to make extra plays to get around that, and uh, eventually a nice headshot onto the guy controlling the turret. And the other one I saw went underneath. It's uh, another vampire entity's comrade, but she must be eliminated with a mortal companion uh, right there underneath. Um, <laughs> But uh, yeah, nice play uh, from Matt and myself there to take out that team. Um, 
they're building themselves a little stronghold here to try and keep back the Manjaros, um, but you know the Manjaros are not having that. It's Matt's final week on the Xbox. When we 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 can't have that. And at this point here, I'm trying to get the big pot. Um, obviously, there's a Crackler in there as well, so quite a lot of valuable resources. But I decide to keep my gold grenade launcher just in the event. You know, if I find extra rockets, it might be necessary at this point. But we've gone into tilted and. Hey man, we've got a tilted finish as well for Matt's final week on the Xbox, so it's been an exciting end to what's been a brilliant week of gaming with Matt, I've really enjoyed it and um, you know, fantastic, fantastic duo for the Manjaros to end on um, for their time of playing and uh, once again Matt, I just want to say how much of a pleasure it's been to play with you bro on uh, Fortnite Battle Royale and um, in all doubles that we've played across all the Halos and now in Fortnite Battle Royale and um, ending it strong right here on the channel guys, Serenity's bid, let's get some hype, let's get some hype for this Tilted Towers finish but uh, yeah so um, at this moment here guys uh, Matt calls out that there's some guys sniping on the hill um, over to the very west side, uh, it might have been that team that we spotted earlier and um, I, I hear as well and so does Matt that there's some guys in this building um, which actually, funny enough, uh, used to be Matt and myself's uh, building that we would um, definitely uh, usually visit this building when we start tilted games. It's usually one that we pick. Um, so funny enough, like we know the building pretty well. Uh, so we've got that advantage of knowing um, the layout inside out. And at this point here, I'm just being careful as I'm pushing in. Because um, also, there's still quite a lot of players left. So I'm just being careful of um, other um, buildings in Tilted as well at the moment because of, you know, not sure uh, where to account for all the players at this moment in the game. So here, just building myself a little stronghold. I like building uh, a tower on top of a building because it uh, feels pretty secure. Um, obviously, Matt's got a different angle from his sort of hillside build as well. Uh, but I think at this point in the game as well, Matt was uh, in desperate need of some materials. So at this point here, um, when I get a moment, I edit down the wall so I can try and drop him down um, the remainder of my um, stuff to help him out. Um, but unfortunately, as you can see, I tried dropping my brick and it doesn't it falls a bit short. So here, just being careful because I don't want to get sniped from that team. Uh, so I do it as quickly as I can to get uh, Matt in a bit of a better situation with Matt. Uh, just so that he can help me out because, you know, if we kill a team, if we kill this team right here underneath us, uh, those mats could make a difference so then we can loot those guys, you know, to finish off, uh, to be fighting fit for the end of this game. And as you can see as well, the final circle here is it's, sl you know, uh, slowly starting to move in. It's going to include that little bit of hill beyond tilted. So definitely mats are, are going to be, you know, what, essential at any stage in a Fortnite game. And, uh... At this point here, as we uh, is starting to close in, just trying to keep uh, you know the, the sort of um, eyes on this team uh, below us in this uh, building because they're sort of the main uh, threat at the moment, and uh, just being careful of any other threats that might come our way at the moment. So as you can see here, I'm just playing it really safe, um, not peeking for my ramp because you know if I get knocked, it's the end of everything. So really have to play it slow here and play it safe. Uh, those guys on the hill are doing quite a lot of uh, damage over there, so. I know they're decent shots, so I don't want to sort of rear my head too early. And again, just being careful and just keeping tabs on this team below. I really want this team from below out of my way. Um, eventually, one of them decides to build up, which is interesting. Um, so at this point, get ready to put some really nice scar shots and knock this guy, which is a really huge play, uh, just to you know get one of the team um, under pressure so that we can move forward, because now we have to um, get onto that little hill that I discussed earlier. And at this point, narrowly miss. That guy narrowly misses that rocket onto me. I get a really nice scar headshot onto him and uh, got a little bit scary for Serenity's Manjaro here, but this is where his Manjaro bro celerity goes clutch and puts extra pressure on. And the brilliant teamwork for the Manjaros as Serenity's knocked the first one and then with Matt's help takes the second guy out and takes the team out. The storm is now coming in. That guy had rockets and Serenity thinks to himself for a moment, hey man, rockets at this stage in the game could be so key and decides to grab them before they're gobbled up by the storm. And at this point, moving ever closer to the Royale win, it's now a two-on-two, -two, a Manjaro's favourite. And at this point, Celerities and Serenities are going to take their time. Serenities is very happy with his choice to grab the rockets. And at this point here, moves in with some extra loot, some much needed mats that he found on those guys that the Manjaros were able to take out skillfully. And at this point here, they've got a couple of comrades in a massive uh, twin tower. And at this point, they're looking threatening as well with sniper rifles on top. So at this point, Serenity, Serenity's Manjaro puts on the rockets just calmly. 
you know, takes his time to put the rockets on the relevant walls to take down their structure. Nicely placed rocket there, and again, just being careful each time he fires the rocket. At this point here, Celericles and Joe on the right taking position. And at this point here, guys, just putting a, you know, making sure I get all these rockets on point. This can be huge for the Majaros right now. And at this point here, they have to work well together to finish this off. And at this point here, I move in, they put to another deployable turret going. <laughs> it's all kicking off, so at this point here, I'm just taking time, making sure that all of my weapons are, you know, uh, reloaded as well. Uh, making sure I don't go into battle without, you know, capacity. That guy gets a little bit too high for me for a moment. I have to recuperate because I want to get my rocket reloaded. And um, at the same time, trying to sort of cover Matt as best as I can. I think Matt does really well here to put them off for this long time. Um, unfortunately, he does get knocked. Um, I managed to finish off the guy that he was shooting. And now it's a one on one. It's up to Serenity's Manjaro to finish this off for Matt's awesome week on Fortnite Battle Royale, his last. And there you go. Serenity gets the shot. And then he's too weak and loses himself in the storm. And Serenity finish finishes off the final Royale duos for the Manjaros for a while now. Because of Matt's um, decision now to um, part from the Xbox realm for a while. But I really hope you enjoyed this gameplay, Matt and everyone else. I really enjoyed it personally. Probably... In my opinion, my personal best performance playing with Matt um, in duos. Uh, definitely my highest kill game with Matt in duos. Uh, nine kills right there. I think Matt had a decent amount as well. So a really, really, really good game. I think it may have been four or five for Matt. Uh, but, uh, you know, really fantastic game for the both of us. So one of my personal best playing with Matt. And a terrific, a terrific week of Fortnite Battle Royale to end on. And, uh, Guys, this was from Manjaro's, this was Celerities and Serenities doing their thing, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.